It has been a while since I have truly filmed a vlog for you guys. A lot of you ask me for easy recipes and I know many of you enjoy watching videos where I post things that I'm eating. I know that's really popular on YouTube in general, but today we are taking it to the next level because I am going to be doing a what I ate today video in the wilderness and I figured that if I can cook something in the woods without a real kitchen then you guys can definitely replicate the recipes that I'm going to make at home and hopefully it all goes smoothly. Nick is packing the car right now and we're heading to the mountains about like four hours away from where we live in Los Angeles. We're going camping for the next two days, two nights. The great thing about California is that you can drive a few hours away and be in a completely different environment, which is nice. And we're bringing our dirt bikes and it's gonna be great. Um, hopefully the recipes will be good too because uh, I really don't know how they're gonna go, but I think, I think I can pull it off. Before we get on the road, I do wanna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Audible. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know this is truly a service that I use every single day of my life. And if you've never heard of Audible, they have an unmatched selection of audiobooks and other original audio content that you can download directly to any tablet or listening device. I really can't say enough good things about the app. I would just highly recommend looking into it if you've never tried it, especially if you enjoy literature. Like personally, I love books, I love reading, but I really love audiobooks because I can listen to them while I'm doing other things and kind of multitask. So if I'm doing chores around the house or running errands, Nick also has Audible by the way, and he really likes it when he's driving. And I have downloaded two audiobooks for us to choose between in the car. I have downloaded Pet Cemetery and Misery by Stephen King. I'm on like a huge Stephen King tear just listening to everything that he's written. I can't speak for either of those titles yet because I haven't started them, but if you're looking for a good audiobook to get immersed in, I would highly recommend The Silence of the Lambs. Even if you've seen the movie, the audiobook was so amazing. The narrator, Frank Moeller, is one of my favorites. He's just so good. Or Different Seasons by Stephen King. That was another one I really enjoyed. And if you would like to try Audible for free, you can do so by going to www.audible.com slash itsblitz or by texting itsblitz to 500-500, which will give you one free audiobook of your choice, two free Audible originals, and a 30 day exclusive free trial. So check that out and we are going to head out. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? Hey guys. We are heading to our destination and Nick's truck is so full that we are both sitting at like 90 degree angles. This is really gonna be good for my posture. Are you excited? Nick's mad because I forgot my pillow so we had to go home. All right, our first stop, we're stopping to get something to eat. This is not going to be one of the meals that I'll be showing you guys as far as what I'll be cooking, obviously, but we need food right now. Nick says this place is good. campgrounds and we're driving around looking for a campsite which is in my opinion one of the most fun parts of camping there's actually a million campsites this place is massive where are we at kennedy meadows yep kennedy meadows in the sequoias mm -hmm. it's like the most perfect beautiful weather all right we've picked our site and nick is paying for it right now you just drop money into a little box I took a little nap while we were driving here, so I'm still kind of waking up, but I'm so excited to get set up. 
I haven't been camping for probably over a year, but Nick and I used to go a lot when we first started dating. Pretty secluded campsite. Good little zone. Lots of trees. I think we brought too much stuff. We brought a lot, but we forgot some critical components, including a lantern. Let's do a quick little outfit of the day. This is like outfit of the week. Sweatpants, fleece, hiking boots. <laughs> We're all set. I don't know if these chips inflated this much because of the altitude, but they're kind of like life preservers now. <laughs> Set up. This is actually so comfortable. All right, it is time for meal one. This is like lunch for the day because we already had a breakfast meal on the way here. I'm gonna make a really easy sandwich from just a few ingredients with some fresh ricotta, lemon, salt and pepper, and fresh bread. It's gonna be really good. Maybe a little bit of microgreens. Can we toast the bread on the fire? Um, I guess you could do it in your little pan on the camp stove. Yeah, let's do that. Cutting my lemon. Okay, I've decided to toast the bread. <laughs> for a better effect. <laughs> Put like a couple drops in. You're my sous chef. That's Nick. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's see if this works. <laughs> All right, they're getting toasty. All right. Okay. Mm, it smells good. While the other one's toasting, I'm gonna add some ricotta. Oh, hell yeah. And now I'm going to add some sea salt, just a tiny bit. A little bit of pepper. And then I also have some pickled onions that were in the cooler, so I'm going to put some of those on top. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the camp stove. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add some microgreens to the side, but look how good that looks. And that is our first camping meal. Looks so good. Ricotta, lemon, salt and pepper, microgreens, and some pickled onions on pumpernickel bread. Looks good. And Nick's making me coffee because I have a headache. Yum. Yum. This is gourmet camping food. This is glamping food. 
so good. Mmm. That stove did a good job. Uh -huh. I think I've never really cooked on this stove. I might more once I did actually. I added the microgreens on top and I think it might actually be better with them. What do you think? Yeah, look all together. I hate eating on camera. It's a baby coffee. You guys, I cannot drink coffee. It makes me feel insane, but it's one of the only things that helps when I have a migraine. So I have to make the sacrifice between feeling better and feeling insane. <laughs> I usually pick feeling insane. <laughs> this looks like a shot from National Geographic Coffee Edition. I would definitely watch that. <clears throat> this is actually pretty good. I mean, it's good because it's warm. I like your coffee because you make it. So I know all the work that goes into it. I, I can understand why people wouldn't like it. You know when you go camping and you find the campsite you like, and then while you're at the site, you're like, this is definitely the best site. Like, I always feel like that happens, you know? Definitely feeling that right now. <clears throat> I'm about to turn into Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde? Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde? Okay, it's about 5.30 and I'm about to get started on dinner. Since we ate lunch a couple hours ago, the temperature has dropped like 30 degrees and the sun's not even down, so it's going to get a lot colder once it gets dark. But I've changed my clothes underneath my jacket. I've put on a bunch of thermals and long underwear, so I feel good. And I wanna just start prepping this before the sun starts to go down. Um, we are going to be making really easy tacos. They will be mostly vegan, but if you are vegan, there will be easy substitutions so that you can make them fully vegan. And Nick and I eat these exact tacos at home at least once a week. We both love Mexican food and we both love tacos. So we have a couple basic ingredients. I'm going to be using a white onion, a tomato, lime, avocado. I'm also going to be using mango, which is one of my favorite things to add to my tacos. However, Nick is allergic to mango, so it's separate and I'll cut that up at the end. And then I also have some corn tortillas. This is my favorite brand. I have some lettuce that I already cut up at home just to save some time. I have my favorite vegan cheese. Yes, it says aged nut cheese, but do not knock it. It is so good. If you have not tried this, I highly recommend it, especially for tacos and Mexican food. It's just so good. And finally, I have a little bit of sour cream. This is a leftover that was in our fridge and I thought it would be good to use it up. And then we have somewhere some refried beans. All right. If you feel like splurging, these are my favorite refried beans. They are seasoned and they're really, really tasty. I think they make the tacos a lot better, but you could also buy, you know, 50 cent can of refried beans if you want to do that too. These are like 250 or three bucks. So Nick is going to heat those up somehow, don't know how. And then I'm going to basically just chop everything up and put it in little bowls and then we can heat our tortillas and throw them all together really quickly. I also forgot to mention every meal that I'll be making involves very limited prep materials so i'm basically just using a sharp knife a cutting board and then a couple of like saucepans and pans and stuff like that for everything you should be able to make these very easily with minimal supplies
I have finished cutting everything up and this took me less than 10 minutes to cut everything without my usual setup. To prevent your avocado from oxidizing, I will squeeze a little piece of lime on it. And other than that, everything's just pretty much ready to go. All we need to do is make a fire, heat up our tortillas, heat up our beans, and then add our um, toppings. And I like to separate them in these bowls just because I think it makes it easier to plate the food. One of my goals on this trip is not to complain about being cold because I am the coldest person in the whole world, which is why I wear long sleeves a lot of the time. Also because I don't like when people see my tattoos, that's the truth. Getting the fire started and I'm making some tea. Shout out to Clean Canteen by the way, which is my favorite brand for insulated cups and thermoses and everything like that. I especially love this guy because the top comes off to be a cup, which is awesome. I use this in a lot of my ASMR videos. Okay, back to the fire. Oh, you're gonna try to do it with flint this time? You want me to? Okay. Try it. I wanna try it too. I mean, if not, we can just light it with a match. Here's another quick little camping tip if you guys use beeswax wrap. You can use your old beeswax wrap as little fire starters by breaking it off into small pieces because it burns slowly. That's so cool. So we're using flint. Survival shit. I can see like a spark flying out and hitting one of us though. Back in Boy Scouts. Yes! All right, beeswax wrap to the rescue. We'll give the flint another go tomorrow. Twisted fire starter. <laughs> Back to the tacos. All right, we have Nick on bean duty. He's eating a spoonful of beans in between each stir. I guess you throw that. <laughs> and then we're gonna throw some tortillas on this, on the fire. All right, first round of tortillas. What's the bean situation? Almost done? Oh my god. Not totally. I have to share a tent with you later after you've eaten god, half a can of beans. <laughs> bean boy. This is the makeshift lantern. It's working. <laughs> it is kind of bright. Ooh. <laughs> That's our water container, in case you guys couldn't tell. All right, first batch of tacos. <laughs> Bring them over here. Throw more tortillas on. We put a little olive oil. Okay, it's good. Nick will seriously be using like an entire container of olive oil to cook anything. Like he'll cook one egg with half a bottle of olive oil. All right, now that these are finished, the tortillas, I'm just going to put toppings on them and they're gonna be awesome. Sour cream. Oh, I like the beans on top of the sour cream idea. Yeah, I usually put the sour cream on top, but we're going for a different method. Tomatoes, and then some white onions, which I've talked about this recently, and I know Nick's sick of hearing it, but I recently discovered that white onions have the same texture as crispy apples. And now when I eat them, I just can't stop thinking about the similarities. <laughs> Okay, avocado. What? It's fucking true. It's pretty cold outside. I'm not complaining, but it's it's chilly. I'm just making a statement. <laughs> I'm serious. It's a half strike. <laughs> no. Hey, just an observation. It is an observation. It's fucking freezing out here. I didn't say that. I didn't say I'm cold. I said it's cold outside. Lettuce. Damn, we can make like some chili killers in the morning too. I have breakfast planned. It's gonna be freaking delicious. Vegan cheese, which is so bomb. Okay, mango on mine, none for Nick. Mmm! And then we got our limes. Got dark so quickly. Just a statement, not a complaint. <laughs> Later you're gonna be like, just an observation. The sleeping bag is really fucking uncomfortable. 
Boom. There we go. Very easy to recreate at home. There they are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And this is the finished taco plate. It's gonna be epic. They look so good. It was a little bit harder to put them together in the dark, but they still came out pretty much like they usually do when we make them at home. And this is a really fast and healthy recipe that you can throw together, even for a large number of people, if you have like a big family or friends coming over. And the ingredients are all pretty inexpensive. And of course you have your protein and just a bunch of fresh uh, produce. How do they taste? They're really good. How do they taste compared to the ones we usually eat at home? Everything tastes better when you're camping. Yeah, I agree. Everything tastes better in the woods. Nick eating beans via headlamp. Oh my god, my battery's about to die. Oh no. <laughs> 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 it is roughly 7.30. We haven't checked our phones, but we think it's 7.30. It is so dark. We both don't have service, which is actually pretty nice. And Nick just whittled little sticks for us to roast marshmallows. I'm gonna show you guys the best vegan marshmallows. I don't eat regular ones because they have gelatin. They are called dandies, which is a questionable name, but they're really, really good. Honestly, I think they're better than regular marshmallows. You're a dandy, I'm a dandy. All right. I can't believe it's 7.30. Is it? I don't know, you said it was. I just guess. What if it's like 1 a.m. we just think it's 7.30? Good morning. Oh, my contacts are frozen. Good morning. Nick took one of the dirt bikes to go find a bathroom and while he's gone, I'm going to go do my camping skincare routine, which is pretty much the same as my skincare routine normally. Last night, it got really, really cold, like below freezing at certain points of the night. And as a result, my skin feels so dry. So I need to moisturize it. I'm gonna put sunscreen on because we're gonna go ride. It's gonna be uh, pretty quick and simple, I will show you. Here are my products. I have my toner on the bottom, avocado oil, peppermint oil, and my sunscreen. Avocado oil. I'm going to do one drop of peppermint even though because it's cold outside, it's going to be very cold on my face. I'm also drinking a ton of water. And now I'm putting on my sunscreen. For breakfast, we are using just a few ingredients. It's gonna be delicious. I pre-made some vegan buckwheat pancake batter before we left for the trip. It took about 10 minutes to make it home, and then we kept this in the cooler. So I'm going to make some pancakes, and if the batter has thickened up a little bit, I'll just add some coconut milk to thin it back down. We're going to have some vegan field roast apple maple sausages. These are really high in protein, so that'll be good because we'll be out all day. And that's the base of what I'm making. And then I have some fresh berries that are already washed. I have some maple syrup and some really high quality butter. But if you wanted to make this fully vegan, you could of course use vegan butter or coconut oil or something like that. I'm going to throw the pancakes on this cast iron pan over the fire and then I'll cook my sausages over here. The pancakes experienced some technical difficulties, but um, we're making it work. They're just pretty thin. I thinned the batter out too much. 
And this is the finished product. Pancakes, presentation-wise, not the best. If you make these at home, they will definitely turn out better. I'll leave the recipe below. Uh, there were some issues besides thinning the batter, mainly that the grill is slanted, so they're slant cakes. And I'm going to have some tea. Work. <laughs> Nick is putting everything back in the bear box. We are about to go try to ride dirt bikes. Hopefully I can hang. We've already cleaned up all of our dishes from breakfast. If you guys want to see how to properly clean dishes while camping, that can be maybe a different video. But there is a proper way. You always want to make sure you're using soap that is biodegradable. No like Dawn dish soap or anything like that. It is sometime in the afternoon. I have no idea what time because both of our phones are off and away. We just went dirt bike riding for maybe the last hour and a half and I did not get any footage of it because I'm still very much a beginner learning. So my priority is not to film it for YouTube, um, but my priority is to be as safe as possible and try not to horribly injure myself, which I successfully avoided doing. I'm just eating a high protein bar. I put one over there for you too. Definitely higher in sugar than I usually prefer to eat, but yeah, it's a good source of protein, especially after exercise. Um, I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask whether or not I'm still doing a low sugar diet because I talked about that in my last What I Ate Today video, and I have significantly decreased my sugar intake overall. I am no longer completely abstaining from eating like processed sugar and whatnot, but I would like to start doing that again because I feel like when I'm just eating fruit as my main source of sugar, I'm, I'm at my best. We're about to attempt to make lunch. I have this cool idea to make a pizza in a cast iron pan over the fire. I read some similar recipes online, but unfortunately didn't screenshot them to my phone or anything, so we're just uh, not following any recipe. Hi. <laughs> It is our last morning camping and I wanted to do a quick outro before I forgot. Um, Nick and I are packing the car right now. We have had such an amazing time and I ended up just putting my camera and phone away for the majority of the day yesterday after we went riding because it was just nice to be in the woods without any like digital technology. We hiked up to a lookout tower and the guy who was staying in the lookout tower which is um, how you can see wildfires. He invited us up and we were talking to him for a long time. It was just so exciting and fun and it was kind of nice to do some of those things off camera because I just didn't feel, you know, I, I wasn't feeling that urge to, to capture everything. It was just nice to have some private personal moments that I will truly remember. So I encourage you guys all to do that. Obviously it's really exciting to film and have your phone and capture things, but it's also really nice to just have those mental memories. Um, and I will say that people out here are just so kind. I feel like there's a secret code of ethics between nature people because everyone says hi to each other, everyone is helpful, people come up and start conversations naturally and it feels really nice. Okay, so off camera last night for dinner, I did end up making a vegan deep dish Hawaiian pizza in a cast iron skillet. It worked out better than expected. Room for improvement, but we were stoked we ate the whole thing. So if you guys like this type of video, let me know. I'm, I'm definitely down to film more things like this in the future. I also have limited knowledge of edible plants in the wild. I've taken a couple like walking tours with a professional forager. Maybe I could do a video in the future incorporating actual wild plants into cooking if you guys think that would be interesting. Um, I feel like this outro is getting so long, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some inspiration for recipes that you can recreate at home in your actual kitchen. If you have any questions or anything that you would like to see specifically, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Make sure to check out Audible, the sponsor of this video, also in the description box below. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys very soon in my next video, and I will talk to you then.